Hey, what is up? So let's talk about Final Cut 10 and how you can optimize rendering and exporting with an external hard drive. So let's go. So let's get started. I want to be quick. Um, I might not go too deep into libraries and drives and stuff like that. Uh, I will make another video about that if you want. Let me know in the comments. So today it's all about how you optimize your um, external hard drive situation for rendering. Um, because if you open up Final Cut 10 and don't change anything, Mm, it stores everything on the local drive and that might be an issue if you have big projects or lots of projects and you run out of drive space. Uh, stuff will get messy, your system will get slower and overall performance will not be the best, I think. So what I use for my render data is an external drive. To be specific, an USB-C 3.1 SSD RAID. So it's rather fast and speeds up my exports and my renders. Um, I will talk about that in a minute. It doesn't really matter if you store your footage on an external drive or internal or in the library or whatever. So the first essential thing you have to do is change your settings for your library. You can do that afterwards. So even if you started editing, but I checked this uh, right away. You go to the library, select that and open up the inspector here and there is storage location modify settings and um, usually i have the media i select in library even though i have it in the folder and control everything by myself um, and here you go uh, in this case cache in library that is what is selected by default and you select this go to choose and select your external drive or even another folder if you want to have more control about how things are stored. So in this case, I go to my external drive, work SSD RAID 1, and I have a render data uh, folder and I choose this um, and then even go ahead and choose a uh, backup. I have in the same folder, I have a backup folder um, and that way everything is quite quick and also it's another safety uh, if my system crashes or system drive gets damaged or whatever I have quickly access to my backups right there so and that's it render data select an external drive a fast external drive now um, if you already rendered a bunch of stuff you could include that so the file cut system will move all the render files to that new selected folder that might be a good idea but sometimes it's also a good idea to start fresh to render everything new if some stuff get mixed up so for this instance i select don't include and that's it now also keep in mind it is essential to have the background rendering on as well. I set mine to eight seconds and let the background rendering do its thing in the background if you drink a coffee or whatever. So in this case, the system Final Cut 10 uses those render files that are already generated as ProRes LT or ProRes or whatever you set your file or project to. So in this case, I selected ProRes LT um, and 1080 so if you set the project to whatever you want to deliver um, this can speed up things as well because now if you select share master file and select source it actually uses those render files on the external drive um, and speeds up the master file export as well now I select and usually I go to an external SSD as well or to a other drive. Um, so in this case, the footage lays on this uh, RAID here. The render files are on this fast SSD and I export to the internal SSD, which is quite fast as well. So everything is speed up and optimized. I really like that. So in this case, this export now will take a bit longer because it didn't render anything. Um, 
But yeah, and then after that, I go to Handbrake and export my H.264 in whatever flavor I need. So yeah, keep in mind, choosing an external fast hard drive for all your render data keeps everything a bit more organized and speeds up and optimizes the rendering and the exporting as well. So in the next video, I might go a bit more deeply into libraries and if you store your footage on an external drive or go ahead and choose to store it in the library and if you have that library and the external drive or an internal drive or whatever so let me know in the comments if you have any specific questions for that workflow but for now that's it i hope it helped a bit <laughs> if not let me know in the comments if it did Click on the thumbs up so I know it helped you out and um, it's always appreciated. See you in the next one. Cheers.